My name is Merle Hoffman, and 51 years ago, I opened what was the first ambulatory abortion facility in New York. That was in 1971, two years before Roe v. Wade. And for the last 51 years, I've spent my life's energy, my passion, and my blood in a struggle for women's reproductive freedom. In 1989, my clinic, Choices, was invaded by Operation Rescue. And I had to fight the leader of Operation Rescue, Randall Terry, who brought his anti-choice warriors to invade and harass clinics and really harass patients. I tried to speak to Cardinal O'Connor, who was the head of the Catholic Church in New York at that time, but he was just too busy to have a meeting with me. And I brought a group of six religious people, Rabbi Balfour Brickner, somebody from Catholics for Free Choice. We were a very diverse, both religious and secular group, but he was too busy. So I said, I think we have to get his attention. And the way we got his attention was by going to St. Patrick's Cathedral. I developed a seven foot hanger. I had it made for this event. And we had this great proclamation where we put up on the walls of the cathedral that women are active moral agents, abortion is a transcendent right, and no man or state has the ability or the right, the right to control women's moral agency. Nine of us were arrested. It was the first pro-choice civil disobedience, and everybody thought it was going to turn the movement. It was going to pivot what was sort of a, a quiet acceptance, or if not an acceptance, an, an, an ability to just fight it on our own without raising an alarm, because women's rights were in the state of emergency and still are, but that didn't happen. Now we're at a point 33 years later, where the emergency is even more severe. There are 100 restrictions, I believe, last year on abortion and abortion access. In the spring, the Supreme Court will hear the Mississippi case, which restricts abortion back only to 15 weeks as opposed to 24 under Roe. If this happens, basically, Roe will be inviscerated. Abortion may not be totally illegal, but it will become impossible for half of the women in this country. This must be opposed. So what are we doing? What are we doing? We are raising that hanger again at St. Patrick's Cathedral on Sunday, February 27th at 1.30. We are going to have a speak out where women and their mothers and their children will come out and talk about why we need access to legal safe abortion. Tuesday, March 8th, we will gather at Union Square at 3 p.m. on International Women's Day to once again rally, speak, march, do whatever we have to do. And if that involves arrests, then involves arrests because we have to make this stand now. We can't have these rights taken away without a tremendous resistance and a tremendous fight. So I say to you, if not you, then who? And if not now, when?